Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode we're going to be solving a Physics 7B electric circuits practice problem. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps our channel. So this is the circuit that we're going to be working with today. Uh, we have a circuit with uh, two branches and four resistors and we know the value of one of the currents and uh, three out of four resistors. So feel free to copy this circuit in order to follow with the instructions. So we have to find uh, all of the currents in the circuit, the resistance that we were not given, uh, the equivalent resistance uh, of basically putting everything together, all of the resistors combined, and then the power output of the battery and the power dissipated from the resistor R. So as you can see, I have every everything uh, written down here. So let's just go ahead and uh, get started. So the first thing that I always like to do whenever I have a circuit with more than one loop is figure out and name all of my currents. So um, I have a total current that's crossing the battery. Remember the total current is always the one crossing the battery. And you always want to go from minus to plus. So I have a total current and then once the current hits this, this junction over here, the current is going to split up. Uh, some of it is going to go uh, over here and it's actually 4 amps. The problem is telling me that this branch is 4 amps. And then some of it, instead of going down, it's just going to go this way. And the, uh, the instructions are calling this current I2. Uh, so I'm just going to call it like that. So we basically have three currents, one, two, and total. Now obviously once these currents go down this path, they are going to recombine at this junction and they are basically going to become I1, uh, I'm sorry, I total again. So we have three currents and uh, the total is equal to one plus two. Uh, because we need continuity at every single junction. So whenever we see a junction, we can apply the uh, fluids continuity equation. What goes in must go out. So what goes in is the total and then what goes out is one plus two. So there you go. That would be the continuity equation at the uh, junction. So now let's just um, try to solve this quiz um, in order. So let's just see. Uh, the first thing that they are asking us is to find all of the currents. So at this point, I only have this current over here. So I need to find out this current and this current. Now, I think that the easiest way uh, to do this would be to use loops. So I'm going to go ahead and do a loop and I'm going to start my loop here on this corner and I'm going to loop around. like this, the outer loop. Why am I choosing the outer loop? Well, that would be because this inner loop, I already know the value of the current. So um, it will like, I just, I just don't need to figure out this current. I need to figure out this current over here. So that's basically how I decided that I was going to do the outer loop. So let's uh, use our loop rule. So if I start here and go around the loop, the first thing that I encounter is the battery. So this is just 12 volts. And then I hit the junction, I keep going. And the next thing that I encounter is R3. So this is negative IR. In this case, this I is I2 because you always wanna use the current that's actually crossing the resistor. This resistor is being crossed by this current, so I have to do this I times this R. And then R3 is 2 ohms. And then I go down here and I am crossing this resistor. So again, this current times this resistor. Uh, R4 is just equal to 1. And then I continue with my loop and I go around, go around, go around, and then I end up where I finished. So per the loop rule, this has to be equal to zero. So this is um, 
12 volts and then this is minus 3 times I2 is equal to 0. So I2 is equal to 12 divided by 3. Uh, so this is equal to 4 amps. And there we go. Now uh, we also need to find what the uh, total current is. But at this point I don't need to do a loop because I know uh, from continuity that this needs to be true. So I total is just equal to I1, which is four amps, plus I2, which is four amps. So I total is equal to eight amps. So now I know that I total is equal to eight amps. And then once it gets here, it basically gets split 50-50. So four goes here and then four goes here. And then once you get over here, four and four recombine, and that's how you get eight back. Uh, so now let me just formulate my final answer because the question says find the current through uh, the battery and each resistor. So let's see. I mean, because I found the currents, but I just need to make sure that the grader knows that I know what current is crossing everything, right? So, uh, so the current crossing the battery is uh, the total current, so it's just 8 amps. The current crossing R1 is this current, so it's 4. Uh, the current crossing this, but this one is again 4. The current crossing R3 is 4 and the current crossing R4 is 4 amps. There we go. So final answer for part A. So now let's just go ahead and do part B. Part B says that uh, I have to find uh, this resistance value over here. So let's just go ahead and figure this out. Um, we don't have a value, we need to figure it out. So uh, so now I'm thinking that, you know, when I did this red loop, I didn't cross this resistor. So, you know, it really wasn't a problem that I couldn't find it. But now I actually want to find it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop again. But now I need to loop in such a way that I'm actually crossing the resistor. Because if I don't cross the resistor, then uh, it's just not going to show up. So my new loop is going to be... this inner loop like this. So it's going to be the green one, like the inner loop. So let's just go ahead and get started. So just by doing this, the first thing that I encounter is this resistor. So plus, uh, this resistor, this battery, I'm sorry. So this is plus 12. Uh, then I turn around and then I decide to go through this branch. So this is negative IR. Um, I already know that the current is equal to 4. So I'm just going to do IR. And then I cross this resistor. And again, I know that the I is equal to 4. And then the resistor, I actually have the value for R2 is just equal to 2. And then I keep going over here, I hit this junction, I go back, and then finally um, I'm ending where I started. So because of the loop rule, this has to be equal to zero. So this means that uh, 12 minus 8 minus 4 R1 is equal to zero. So R1 is equal to 4 divided by 4. Uh, yes, so 4 divided by 4, uh, so R1 is equal to 1. Um, final answer. 1 ohm final answer. That is the ugliest. All right. Um, all right, so now we are done with part B. So now let's just see what part C is. So the next thing that we have to find is uh, the total resistance of the resistor network. So now we actually have to reduce this circuit and figure out the uh, 
the equivalent resistance of the resistor network. So let's see. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip, I'm just gonna do two steps at once because I know that these guys are in series and I know that these guys are in series. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reduce them at the same time. Uh, resistors in series just add up. So this is the series of these two. So this is just one plus two. This is equal to three ohms. And this is the series of these two, which is uh, two plus one. So this is also equal to three ohms. And now these two resistors over here are in parallel with each other. So I'm just gonna rewrite this. And this resistor is the parallel combination of these two. And let's just remember that one over R parallel is one over R1 plus one over R2. So R parallel is uh, one over three plus one over three, take the inverse of that. So my equivalent resistance is equal to um, 1.5 ohms. Final answer. So now for part uh, D is uh, we have to figure out the power output of the battery and the power dissipated from resistor R. So my equations for power, let's just start with the battery. So uh, let me just grab a different color. So let's just go with blue. So P for battery is just equal to E times I total. So this is just 12 volts times I total was equal to eight. So the power output of the battery is equal to um, what is it? 96? Hell yeah. So 96 watts. And now for the resistor, remember that we have several options for the resistor. Um, but I, I think that the one that we want to use is the one that has a current on it because we don't want to get into Delta V if we can avoid it. So the power for resistor one is just uh, the current that's crossing it squared uh, divided by R. So the current that's crossing I1 is equal to four ohms, so four squared, and then divided by that resistor, uh, so divided by one. So this is equal to 16 what's final answer so there we go this is our final answer now obviously for the resistor you could either use uh, delta v i or i squared divided by r or uh, uh, delta v squared r uh, the reason why I decided to use this is because I was already given this value uh, and if I wanted to use this too I would have to figure out delta V which honestly is not a big deal but that would be an extra step and like at this point on the quiz why am I doing extra steps obviously that is not what I want to do at all so I'm gonna just go ahead and use whatever I have at the moment so that is why this one was more convenient um, if you don't remember this equation and you want to use the other ones, then uh, I can 100% guarantee you that you're going to get the same number. But I'm just trying to explain why it was kind of like obvious to me that I needed to use this equation instead of these two. Even though these two would have also worked, it would just have meant uh, more work for me, which I'm not fond of. So anyways, this is the end of this practice problem. So if you have any comments, please make sure to leave them down below. We do read them and uh, I'll see you guys in the next practice problem.